Okay, exam review for chapter four. So evaluate means you need to plug in the variable, the number in for the variable. So we always put the number in parentheses if there's a negative. So it's five parentheses, four squared, minus four. Now you need to do the order of operations. So to do the order of operations, you need to do exponents first. Four squared is four times four, which is 16. So it's 5 times 16 minus 4. So next you do 16 times 5. So 16 times 5 is 80. So 80 minus 4 is 76. And letter B. M N squared. So 4, oops, that didn't go very well. 4 times 3 squared. So you need, again, you need to do the exponents first. 3 squared is 9. So it's 4 times 9. So 4 times 9 is 36. So once you plug them in, be careful with, with, your, with your order of operations. 2. Find the GCF. GCF stands for Greatest Common Factor. Factors are smaller than the numbers, so to factor out 20, you do the rainbow. 1 and 20. 2 goes with 10. 3 doesn't work. 4 and 5 work. So those are my factors. Factor out 30. 1, 30. 2, 15. 3 goes with 10. 5 goes with 6. So now that you have all of the factors, the greatest common factor is the highest number that both of them have in common. So 10 is the highest number they both have in common. So that's the GCF. You do the same thing with 4 and 5. Factors of 4, 1 goes with 4 and 2. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5. So the greatest common factor is a 1. Okay, number 3. Write each fraction in simplest form. It means to reduce it. So find the highest number that goes into 12 and 20. So I can divide both of them by 4. So if I divide the top by 4, I get 3. If I divide the bottom by 4, I get 5. So 3 fifths. B. If I divide the top by 18, I get 1. If you divide the bottom by 18, you get 2. And you can do it differently. This is the fastest way. You can do it. You can divide them by 2, keep dividing by 2, or divide it by 3, and keep going until it's all the way reduced. And then C. I divide the top by 25 and the bottom by 25 to get 3 fourths. Okay, number 4 is doing properties of exponents. So down here I'm going to do some properties of exponents. So we know that any number to the 0 power is 1. We know that if we are multiplying with the same base, these are both a we're going to add the exponents. We know that if we have parentheses with the exponent on the outside, we're going to multiply these two. We know that if we have division, then we're going to subtract these two exponents. And we know that if we have a negative exponent, we're going to move it so this was on the top, we're going to move it to the bottom and lose the negative. So it's 1 over a to the fifth. So let's practice those up here. So 8a, well I should keep the properties on here. 8a squared 3 to the fourth. You're going to multiply 8 times 3 because those are the coefficients. So it's 24a, but then you're going to add the exponents, a to the sixth. B, there's a little parenthesis, so you're going to multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. C, 
12 to the 0 is 1. Any number to the 0 power is 1. D is division, so you're going to subtract the exponent, so it's D squared. E, you're going to divide 12 divided by 4, because those are the coefficients. And then you're going to subtract, so it's X to the 4th. F, you're going to add the exponent, so it's K to the 10th. G, you're going to multiply these, so it's B squared. And then H is 6 to the 1 power, which is just 6. And then number 5, write a fraction in simplest form. So a chef used 4 eggs from a carton of 12. So you need to reduce 4 twelfths, which is 1 third. And then 25 of 30 students went on a field trip. This reduces to 5 sixths.